if you want to stay in Muldra, it's rough, man. It's rough. It's all burns and disappointment. <laughs> burns and disappointment. Pause the game. Pause the game. Okay, good. All right. Here we are, guys. A really CDDA challenge. The hardest start in Project Zomboid. You start off in a burning house. You're naked. You're wet. You have a cold. You're drunk. And you have a large shard of glass in your crotch, which leaves a deep wound, which in Project Zomboid needs a needle to sew up. You're also naked and outside is super cold because it's December. This means it's six months later in the game after the Nox event. Loot is also very scarce. And on top of that, just my luck, the neighbor's house had an alarm. The zombies were coming in towards me anyway. Now, with this alarm, it's even worse. I have to get out of here. Moldra, which is already packed by default with insane population, is very, very rough. I managed to scratch my foot while running through the forest. Uh, but at least these guys are following me and they're gonna donate their shoes to me along with some very nice warm clothes. Of course, all the clothes on the zombies are all ripped. So it's not very helpful. A cornfield means there's a farm nearby. And I'm also doing a bit of uh, foraging right now because I have basically nothing, just a bit of food. Some of it is canned and I don't have a can opener. So let's check out this tool shed and see what we can find. Light bulb, a propane torch, which is not very helpful to me right now. Some useless rope and a screwdriver. Yes, that's a good one. Let's see if this dust mask does anything to my coughing. Hmm, doesn't seem to work in that way, but maybe it helps in general with the cold. Let's check out this house. Again, not much loot, not very useful loot. Just some banging on the door. We have to take care of the former residents. One more. And there we go. Now let's check out this bathroom. I'm hoping to find a needle to sew up that deep wound and maybe some disinfectant to take care of the wound once it gets infected. But all I get is some bandages. That's better than nothing. And this seems to be the trend with the CDDA challenge in terms of loot. More banging on the door. Another zombie. I need some better clothes. Luckily, I find these pristine clothes on the bed. Padded pants and the jacket is just what I needed to get rid of this cold. Now again, I have lots of cans but no can opener my wound is already infected but still bleeding so I have to wait for it to stop bleeding before I can keep patching it up and try to disinfect it somehow so I eat some food try to sleep I got rid of the cold and just got to make it the next day I keep getting woke Woken up by the pain from the wound. I believe I'm also a restless sleeper. I continue to forage the next day. Unfortunately, plastic bags, twigs, and poison berries. No, thank you, sir. Um, not, not much luck. I am getting some zombies. And I did find some new clothes looking sharp and got some tree branches. These would be good later. More zombies, more zombies. And yeah, at least I'm not sick anymore and I can fight these guys off. And I got a pair of nice military boots. Forging is just not really working out for me now. Go back inside and make a hammer out of a tree branch in the stone. And gonna do some carpentry. I actually need some planks. So I'm just gonna disassemble anything that I can. 
I'm gonna drill one of the planks to make a notched plank. And now pretty much take down all the doors in the house just to be able to find some planks. Mo most of them are not giving me anything useful. But with the last piece of furniture that I was able to disassemble, I get my plank and go back to the bedroom and tend to my wounds again. It's stopped bleeding now, but it's still infected. So I need some kind of disinfectant. I need to wait until tomorrow to make my move. Wake up several times during the night. It's very hard to get this person to sleep. My food is running out. So I really need to go find some more. Hunger is what really drives me at this point. And since I don't really want to eat poison berries, and I'm not much of a farmer or a fisherman, especially during December, I'm just going to do what I know, which is kill zombies. And I intend to kill some zombies with some fire. There's quite a lot of zombies following me. So I need to do this very carefully. I lay down the fire, add some fuel, and now comes the interesting part. Lighting the fire with a notched plank and the tree branch. This method can take some time and can fail. So I have to try again and again until it actually starts burning. It's so here I go around and around with all these zombies and my branch breaks. That can happen too. So I have to forge for a new one and go back and try to light this fire again. So this is basically just rubbing a stick and a notched plank to create heat and make a fire. I guess it's extra hard with zombies barreling down on you. Come on, this is, this is the one, this is gonna work. I bet this is gonna work, come on. Plenty of time, there we go, we have fire. Now I'm just gonna have to gather all these zombies. And there's a lot of them. What I want to do is clear as much as I can around this bar, which hopefully holds some wonderful liquid food for me. But before I can do that, I need to gather up all these zombies while moving carefully, making sure I don't get the flames near the houses or else there'll be nothing to loot for me. Luckily, these parking lots are great for this. They are in between the bar and the warehouse. So two good points for looting. Once I get done burning all these guys, which uh, can take a while. Fire might look quite strong, but it can take a day to burn down a horde like this. And it actually does for me as well. I head up to the main road just to make sure I grab as many as I can so we don't have any wanderers later. It's already evening and I'm still coming up with more zombies here that haven't been burned yet. It just seems like they are coming in faster than I can burn them. But eventually I managed to whittle them down to just a few and the last guy falls. Now I need to get to some shelter. There's an apartment above the bar, which I plan to use as my base, or at least temporary base. So dark, but looks safe. I'm just gonna bolt for the bedroom and close the door. I need sleep and I need food. I've been burning them all day and haven't looted a thing. Again, having trouble sleeping, but still safe. Although severely depressed. Why did I choose to be a smoker? I haven't seen a cigarette at all. Maybe this bar has some. Well, some beer, some wine, and some precious bourbon. Bourbon is the greatest item in game. It's food, it's water, 
and it's medicine. And it's also sleeping pills if you think about it. I go and disinfect my wound and apply a freshly disinfected bandage. This should really get rid of the infection, especially with my fast healer traits. All patched up, I go out to see the fruits of my labor. Not many zombies around just yet, and I get a chance to grab a couple of things here and there, and even uh, raid this store, storage warehouse. I didn't find a needle, but I did find a few tools and the weapon. I'm not spending much time on fighting these zombies at the moment. My pressure is finding food right now. It seems to be the hardest thing. I'm just gonna have a look around the corner, right? And yeah, a bunch of zombies right there. I'm not sure if these are respawns or just them wandering in overnight. But this is making my progress feel really slow. More zombies. Quite a big pack of them too. I end up finding quite a lot of zombies, so... I find myself forced to do another burn. I forge for a branch. Because probably the other one broke. And gather up more zombies. And bring them to the fire. Now, to do another burn. This is starting to get tedious now. I've burned quite a few zombies already. And still... Look what I conjured up just by moving around for a bit. It's quite depressing as I seem to be burning them down. And there they are back again, just like that. I need some food, so I need to check out some new places. The main road doesn't lead to anything that might have food, at least not very close by, so. These houses will be my best bet to find something to eat. First, I gotta get rid of all these zombies and in a really tight area. But I managed to whittle them down by evening. I was already exhausted, depressed, hungry, panicked, barely killing the zombie. I'm gonna go into the house. I fully expect there to be more zombies inside. But if I can, I'm gonna avoid the fight because my moodles don't really help right now. So, a bag of chips, that's, that's all the food that there was in there. Grant a loot of one bag of chips after a whole day of burning. Doesn't seem really fair, does it? I to try this house too, but already zombies are popping up. There's nothing in the house, no food, everything is rotten. And, yeah, I just eat my chips and depressed, I go back to the safety of the apartment. Each day I use more energy than I gain. This is no way to live. I wake up several times every night, barely getting some sleep in. I know another burn needs to be done. It looks depressing outside, even without the zombies. If you want to stay in Moldra, it's rough, man. It's rough. It's all burns and disappointments. <laughs> burns and disappointment. Jesus. So much disappointment. All right. This is like the fourth, fifth day of burning already. Um, I'm not making progress at all. It feels like I'm really wasting time here and precious food that I can't afford to do that. I'm going to try the houses one more time. Uh, I'm going to go further in with them. 
But there's already so many zombies even next to the bar. I don't even need to go to the houses to find zombies. Now we're just gonna try the houses further down. Still hoping for something that will keep me here for another day or two. What I was hoping for was a needle to take care of that wound, but it doesn't seem to be bothering me all that much anymore. So, just gotta get some supplies from these houses. Again, doing the Congo line down this small road. Not, not getting any of the fire to the houses. That's really important. Although at this point, this how these houses are useless, really, because they are empty. And there's all these zombies spawning next to them. All right, one more burn. One more day. Let's see how many I can get. All right, it didn't take a whole day. Just half a day of burning this time. Let's see the amazing loot in the ne next houses. Nada. Zilch. Zero. Absolutely nothing. Just rotten. Rotten food. This is depressing. This is just a bad day. A really bad day. Even my fighting spirit is almost gone here. Uh, just so hard. And you're tired and panicked and depressed. How can you not be depressed with all this work and no reward for it? It's getting really annoying. Back to the safety of the apartment. Just gonna get some sleep and rest. I get a head start on my sleep, sleep schedule. I seem to be waking up quite a lot. Less than before though. Food is still running out all the time. Barely, barely handling it. And on top of this, we get a bug in our bedroom. I mean, I'm not sure how this guy got here. There's no windows broken or doors broken down. He definitely wasn't here. I've been sleeping here for days. Yeah, just weird. Just weird, man. Uh, lucky I saw him first. So I decided to pick up my circus and move further along town. There's nothing useful for me to loot around here anyway. What I do need is something with non-perishable food. The lumber mill is not great for that as well, so I need a gas station, maybe. This is where I found a sledgy earlier. It's not that useful to me at this moment, but I'm not carrying a lot of loot, so might as well just grab the sledgehammer as well. So I can't go straight through the main road because there's lots and lots of zombies. And it'll get late, late in the day, I'll be tired. I won't be able to do a burn right away. So I take this road that's parallel to the main road. I'm looking for some safe place for, from which I can strike the next day. Somewhere I can sleep. And somewhere where there's no hordes of zombies. So I explore the winding roads in the forest. And somewhere near to the center of town. I find this place, which looks like an electricity facility of some sorts to me. Um, I've been seeing these kind of places pop up in the game. I think the devs are trying to introduce some kind of restore electricity challenge thing. Just my speculation though. Uh, so this is the shack that it has nothing I can sleep on, but at least it's safe. It has that fence and gate outside, which is double protection against any wandering zombies. So yeah, this is a good place to sleep. And in case of anything like a horde of zombies, I can just jump this fence and 
be safe because there's no gate to it. It's just fence. We got a water source here. I do a bit more searching to pass the day. And luckily I find this camp uh, with all these zombies, but also with some food, including some fresh food, which is kind of weird uh, because it's been six months and all the fresh food is rotten. So I guess these survivors froze some ham <laughs> uh, and only recently turned. I scout ahead and plan for the next day. And when it's getting dark, I make my way back to my new sanctum. I lose the zombies along the way, thanks to the forest. And somehow there's no zombies already here, which is great. I'm gonna close this gate. I'm gonna close this door. I'm gonna sleep on the floor and even making rhymes. All right, guys, this is my first installment of my CDDA run. There's lots more action to come, so tune in to the next episode. If you like this, why don't you drop a like and subscribe and to be sure you're notified when the next episode comes out. Thank you.